Hello and welcome again to the rcprinter.com YouTube channel. I'm Jordan Visco, your host. Today we are going to up our LiPo storage and charging game with this guy right here, which is the Batsafe LiPo charging box. So stick with us if you want to check it out. All right, so up until now, uh, we've been charging all our LiPo batteries in this guy, which is a, a LiPo Guard charging bag. And it works pretty well, uh, but at this point, it's pretty much full. And I'm a little worried that if one of these catches fire, it's actually going to catch all of them in fire now. LiPo batteries uh, don't normally just blow up, but they can. It is not completely uncommon for that to happen, and if it does, um, it is not a small event. They kind of explode, fire goes everywhere, and it can really easily burn your house down. So it is recommended if you're dealing with a lot of LiPo batteries, uh, like more than one or two, then you should probably grab um, at least something like this, if not something a little bit better, like this guy right here, which is the Bat Safe. So I purchased the Bat Safe uh, here in Canada from a website called Great Hobbies. Um, but you can get them pretty much anywhere online. Amazon carries them. You can get them from Hobby King or pretty much any hobby store. And so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. All right, there it is. Doesn't come in any fancy packaging or anything. It's it's just a box with a little bit of styrofoam around it. That to the side. And pop it open. And we'll see what we got. It comes with this metal stand. little bit of uh, double-sided velcro tape all right so these pop off so this is going to be sliding in right there and that's where we're going to mount our charger and then here's the instructions all right, so the bat safe is a double wall insulated box to contain the heat of a battery fire. In the event of a battery fire, smoke and hot fumes are vented through the top of the box. So that's what this mesh is about. The top of the box has been designed to filter, arrest flame, and diffuse the hot exhaust gases to prevent jets of flame or soot from escaping. In the event of a fire, there'll be large a large quantity of hot white smoke released through the vent holes. So ensure there's a clear space above the lid. The products of combustion can be harmful, so windows or doors should be open to allow smoke to clear the areas. Persons with lung conditions, blah, blah, blah. Maximum battery size, no more than two 6S batteries. So we can compare this. You can see how thick these walls are to uh, this battery charging bag here. Right? And uh, you can see that this is going to do a much better job of protecting your home in the case of a battery fire. I also have a small one here that came with one of my batteries one time, but not a lot's going to fit in there. So we're going to just grab our LiPos and throw them in here. Now you can actually charge your LiPo batteries um, in the box as well, and that's what this grommet here is for. So in theory, if I pull on it, like that it pops out and then what you can actually do is sandwich in here some extension cables so you actually have to get some extensions for these and then thread it through the top like that and give it a pull and the sandwich leads will be able to come right into your battery box and you'll be able to charge your batteries uh, without having any part of the box open to the air. And then these right here, these right here will attach to the back of your charger and then you attach some to the top of this as well and your battery charger can sit right here while the leads go inside. 
Okay, so just to show you how it works here when it's all set up, your charger gets connected here with just that double-sided stick tape. Like that, this slides in here. Um, and then you're gonna take your extension wires now. Um, I have this power wire here that will reach through this grommet, but I actually need some extension cables for my balance leads. Those are still on order, so I can't show you those right now, but um, it would be the exact same sort of thing. So if I pull the grommet out, like that, and I sandwich my extensions in between, and then slide them through the hole, like so. I can pull them into place, connect my batteries, put my charger back in place here, and you can move your uh, cables back and forth through here to get a little extra slack if you want. So I can then connect those into place and lock it up and I'm off to the races. So there we go, that's uh, the bat safe in a nutshell. I uh, just need to wait for some of those balance lead extension cables to come in so that I can uh, charge all my batteries in here as well. I'm really excited about uh, upping my LiPo safety and making sure my house doesn't burn down. Now again, I haven't had any problems with LiPo uh, batteries exploding. I have had a few go puffy on me though, and I've had a few that stop taking a charge or won't hold the charge. Um, so I know that they do go bad and uh, you don't want to get to that point where they're going to explode on you. Now this right here is about a hundred bucks and if you don't want to set shell out a hundred bucks, you know, you can still go for these far cheaper. I think this is probably uh, $15 or $20 from Amazon for one of these LiPo charging bags and that would be highly recommended if you can't go for a bat safe. Uh, another thing you can use um, would be a military ammo box. They're not quite as safe as well, again, as a, a bat safe, but they will work uh, quite well. Uh, probably, you know, this would be step one. Um, an ammunition case would be step two. And then something like this, the bat safe here would be kind of the best option for home use. Now, in terms of location, ideally you don't want to keep this in your house. It would be best to keep it in a detached garage or a shed. You don't want to leave it outside, but you do want to have it covered. And in the event of a fire, you know, it is best not to have it in your home. Um, so keep that in mind. So that's it for me today. Just a quick video on the bat safe here. I'm excited about hopefully getting some more snow out there this weekend so that we can get back outside and finish our testing video on our new ski ride build. We'll see you soon, and as always, if you're looking for cool ideas of 3D projects to build, kits, parts, or instructions on how to build them, make sure you check us out, rcprinter.com.